Hey everybody, it's Cam and I over here at First Friday's High Five. We have a very special guest with us today, Sally Stitzer. Sally is a local Fort Wayne who is actually the CEO and president of Radix Advantage. It's a leadership development company. Uh, she also provides leadership development coaching, business consulting, and she's a corporate trainer. Sally, it's so good to have you with us today. Thanks for having me, guys. How are you doing on this uh, quarantine? And, you know, today's sunny, so I, I'm hanging in there. Yesterday was a little bit dreary, and I ran out of ice cream, so I was feeling a little bit <laughs> Today, I'm doing better. Okay. Okay. That's great. I love it, Sally. Very good. Okay, Sally, we're going to ask you five questions. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start with Cam, brother. All right. All right. So, Sally, thanks for being here with us today. So what are some things that you do to encourage creative thinking in the workplace? Oh, man, I love that question. I think anytime you can shake up routine, you're mm. going to spark creativity. So that mm. could be anything from changing your location. It could be doing something silly like drawing. Um, getting outside, um, something even as simple as if you've got like a recurring meeting and you always cover the same agenda points, do them in the opposite order. It sounds silly, but just breaking up that routine sometimes is all it takes to just trigger your brain to think a little differently. That's awesome. That's a great tip. Thank you, Sally. Yeah. Okay, question number two. Uh, obviously, with the things that you do in leadership coaching, business consulting, and corporate training, um, you've had some probably pretty powerful mentors in your life. Mm -hmm. uh, can you name one that you would specifically feel stands out? Oh, that's that's a tough question. Name one is not very <laughs> fair. Um, I work for a lot of really great people, honestly. Um, okay. I can think of one person that I learned a lot from in the workplace. Um, that was Mike Cahill. Um, he's local Fort Wayne, and I had the privilege of working for him twice. Um, I think I'm going to cheat and throw in another person. That would be my husband, Doug. Um, he's really smart. He asks really good questions and gives good advice. Um, he's usually right, which is pretty annoying, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> that. um but it's great having him as kind of another, um, just thought, thought leader in my line of work. That's awesome. Thank you. And congratulations, Doug. You, you made it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that now, under wraps. So, <laughs> so now you talked about um, leaders that you have. What books are you reading? What type, what, what are some books? Oh gosh, I love to read. Okay. What's it say it again? I said, what books, what leadership books are on your radar right now? So I love to read. I just finished a book called The Talent Code by Daniel Coyle. That was a really good one. Um, let's see, what else do I have in my pipeline? I'm one of those people that collects books, so it's kind of tricky to know, like, where do I turn next? Um, one book that I've read probably a bajillion times, and I refer to it all the time, is Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. Um, it's, it's more about negotiation, but I think it talks a lot, too, about human, just how humans work and how to talk to humans. Um, and it's just a really fun read. It reads like an action movie. So I recommend that book to people a lot and I use it in my own coaching. Excellent. Very cool. Thank you. Okay. So the next question, this would be question number four. Um, during this time, uh, I know you've got probably a lot on your plate, but how has this whole situation that we're in the midst of with the coronavirus, the COVID-19, how is that impacting what you do and how are you navigating uh, through it? Yeah, that's, it's tricky. I think everyone's kind of going through it, right? And trying to figure out what it looks yeah. like. Um, I hear a lot of people saying, oh, we're in a new normal. And then I hear people saying, no, wait, we're not going to call it new normal because that means this is permanent and we're, we refuse to call it that. Um, I think it's just you, you figure out what your day-to-day -day looks like and you give yourself a lot of grace in the process. So I've got two little kids that are now at home. I've got a husband that's also working from home. So it might mean that I'm in a season where I have to be a little bit more mom, um, whereas otherwise I would have had more time to work on business stuff. And that's, it's challenging because you feel like you're giving up a part of yourself, but then also realizing I'm right where I'm supposed to be. You that's know? awesome, what a great attitude. 
Yeah, well, it's not always that way though, so don't give me too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> I drink a lot of no, wine. Okay, I'll stop right now. I'm stopping right now. No yeah, there credit. you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the final hey, question Kim. of our series. So, Sally, if you could break bread with anyone, who would it be? Oh my gosh, this is going to sound so dorky, but my legit answer to that, can it be a dead person? Is that, a li- is that allowed? You are, okay, you are all right, good. Um, Aretha Franklin. I, I would pick Aretha Franklin. Okay. I, just the queen of soul, you know? <laughs> and like, okay. I just, I don't know. I, I always thought it'd be really cool to meet her. She's got an incredible story. So that's the person I would pick. You that's know, awesome. We've had, I love that. We have so many across the board responses. I'm not gonna lie, this, this is probably one of my favorites. It really is. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, who's gonna argue with the Queen of Soul, right? I mean, not, no one. Right. Not I. <laughs> not I. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, during the midst of all this craziness, Sally, I just wanna say thank you so much for taking the time out to hang out with us. We yeah, have this thing you, that Sally. we like to do when we, towards the end of our conversations, we do a high five. And so since we actually can't be there in person to actually do a high five, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our hands to the camera and we're going to do a high five. And I'll do a three, two, one countdown from there. I gotcha. Okay. So you ready, my friend? All right. We're ready. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Bring so it in. in one, two, three, high five. Wait, that was a count up. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you see what, the, Sally, do you see what the deal is? Totally, you, you totally see? confused me. We might have fumbled that. That was like a little, <laughs> one of those. Gosh. Okay. That's you, you said right. count down and you started counting you up and I was, that. I, I caught that too. Lucky for but you, think, I'm fluent and awkward, so it doesn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> All I, right. think, I think he took your advice, Sally. I think he just did a disruption. I did. That's okay. I'm yeah. That's all right. So I'm good now. We're all in. I'm good. I'm okay. good. We're ready, man. We're ready. <laughs> So, counting down for some people, <laughs> and in three, two, one, high five. High five. <laughs> <laughs>